Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install and set up properly the Play Emulator in order to play Soul Calibur 3 Arcade Edition, Tekken 4, Tekken 5.1, Tekken 5DR and others. So basically go to this link, puray.org, go to Downloads and download uh, Win32 64. This is the 64 bit and this is the uh, 32. Download the uh, which you want. You, you also have a Mac OS, Linux, and other uh, the, uh, operational systems. Download this one and install it inside uh, the root folder. Do not change the installation folder. So, after installation, it should look like this. Program files, the 64-bit. Play folder. Here's the emulator itself. Go to arcade devs and make sure you have... Uh, where it is? This one, Soul CLB3 Arcade Devs. You should have this, so no worries. And then go to this link. By the way, all of the links are in the video's description. You will need to have to download two files. First one is uh, soulclb3.zip, and the second one you press uh, uh, soulclb here and download the CHD file. So Go to your uh, documents folder, enter play data files, and go to arcade ROMs folder. Here you will have to do uh, one thing. So basically, you put here the SolCLB zip file, and then you copy the name of the file, you make a new folder, and call it like this SolCLB3, and inside you put the CHD file. So what we have is a folder with this name. In this, with the CHD file and the zip file, soulclb.zip, with all of those files. Uh, do not extract it, just keep it like this and like this. All right, cool. Now you're ready to play. So basically, you won't have you won't have a shortcut like this. So you'll have to uh, go to the root folder, right click. Send to and desktop, create shortcuts like this. All right, so let me show that everything's working. All right, this is how the emulator looks. Uh, here's the last uh, update. So press options, settings. Uh, system languages doesn't really matter. Make sure to enable cap frame rate to video refresh rate. In the video tab, choose your uh, desired internal resolution. Uh, I like to choose in presentation mode fill screen instead of fit screen. It makes it in the stretch all, 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 on, on all the screen. Very nice. Make sure to enable uh, enable GS RAM reads. Choose your API. I choose Volcom because my uh, GPU supports this. Audio doesn't really matter. And now we need to set up your controller. So I've connected a DualSense, which is a PS5 controller with cable wiredly into my PC and after you do so you press options control manager and here you have to set up so basically if you want the classic PS2 layout of a controller like DualShock uh, you will need to have set this like I did so what you do you press add then you name the layout I named it as you can see uh, Soul Calibur 3 Arcade Edition you can have different profiles for different games and then make sure to set up exactly as I did. So basically you start with this one, with D-pad, which is number five. And then you go, and then I'll scroll down slowly so you will see all of the buttons. So how do you do it? Basically if you want to assign select, which is the insert coin, because you know it's an arcade machine, you double click on it with your, your mouse, left click. And then you actually need to press and hold the button for three seconds to assign the key. So if I just press and leave it, you see, it disappears. So I choose, I press the create or a share button on my uh, DualSense controller for three seconds like this. Do not leave the button. And it registers. So again, make sure uh, the number says like this if you want the classic uh, default layout. And then press apply and then OK. Cool. Now find the game. Here it is, Calibur 3. Double click it with your uh, mouse, left click. Just wait patiently, do not press anything. 
Yeah. Until the game is ready. Soul Caliber three. Okay, so insert the coin by uh, pressing select. You can insert how much you want, then press start. Versus Tira. Tira. Her broken heart, embraced by the wings of darkness, emits a piercing. It it's only the 60 FPS. There are very second drops, but uh, it's only battle one. Good. Fight. The game itself is solid 60. Click with your left mouse on the middle of the screen, it will make it full screen like this, and it looks very nice as you can see. Very smooth. Wait. Battle two. Fight! And issues? Sometimes you can do something like this and then you teleport because the emulator is still in development. As you saw, the faces are glitching a little bit, but uh, nothing really crazy. Okay, yes. the final uh, stuff you need to know. Uh, if you like have issues running it at uh, 60 FPS. So, let me quickly, quickly open this link and explain. Alright, so. The simulator and game are very CPU bound, CPU intensive. You will need to have a very strong CPU in order to run it at 60 FPS. So uh, the GPU doesn't really matter because an all the GTX 1080 uh, can run this game at 4K 60 FPS. What really matters is the CPU. So go to this link and check if your CPU is on this list. If it does, look at the points. The points are here where I'm showing off and check if your CPU is above above 4000 points if it does it means you will be able to run the game at a solid 60 fps which is a very high uh, demand but it is what it is so this is my CPU Intel Core i9 14900 HX which, ha which has 4344 points and that's why I'm able to run it at solid 60 FPS. Well, uh, I hope uh, it was helpful. I hope this tutorial helped you. Please consider subscribing to my channel and like the videos. I upload a lot of other cool stuff like AMVs, um, walkthroughs and cool clips. Um, thank you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me in the YouTube comments. Uh, I'll try my best to answer you the best I can and help you out. Um, and that's it. Thank you again and uh, have fun. Play the game. Goodbye.